Hi everybody, Alexis here, Diamond Painting from the D. She is done, mother and child. Cotart. This is a 16 by 20 inches, and she came out beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It was confetti city. Yeah, a whole lot of confetti. I wasn't all that crazy about it, but I have a technique to where I don't get it go insane doing a lot of different colors. As you can see, her fingers came out beautiful. When they first came out with this coat tart, her fingers were so long. I think they did a little work on it when I ordered it. It was a little bit better. I want to thank Miss Coffee because I bought this because I saw her unbox it. And next year, I'm going to start doing unboxings. But for now, I do have a few more, and a friend donated some to me. Called herself being funny and gave me a couple of partials, knowing I'm not all that crazy about partials. But I will be doing them. But yes, this is Mother and Child by Cotart. Look at how she sparkles. Oh my gosh. And her hair is so pretty. Didn't take long to do her, but it took me a while because I kept stopping. Yeah. I will take two or three days off sometimes and not diamond paint at all. After doing it for about four years now, I have to take little breaks. Or I will sit all day long and just diamond paint my life away. This is another Cotart. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing this one, but... I think the problem with it was it's a round and they made the canvas up for square drills so they are very tightly packed in there and when you get a diamond painting and sometimes they initially do it for a square but then they put round drills with it sorry about the jumping you have to give it a little space because round drills are bigger than squares so you might want to just skip a couple of spots, you know, just to give it that little extra brace or that little extra room so that your drills don't pop. But with this one, I did run out of drills and I had to fill in with a different color. Can you tell where I had to fill it in? No, not unless you actually have this one and you look very carefully. I'll even show you up in here these right here these little spikes I had to fill in with a different color this up here I had to fill in with a different color but I like purple so I thought purple would pop on it and it does I'm not sure about the name of this one this one is also a 16 by 20 inches I had 99% of it done and then I ran out of drill so I just brought it in the basement and I set it down and I left it alone. Then I brought it back upstairs. And I'm glad I did because it would have flooded in the basement too. A friend of mine gave me another lips like morphine. I also have another Giselle, which I will be doing very soon. But yes, this is Cotart. I do like the company. I do like their canvases. And I will be ordering from them again. And yes, this is what the thumbnail looks like so that you can see the difference. Let's see if we can get up on that. Yeah, I blended those purples perfectly with the purples that were supposed to be in there. But yeah, every now and then, you can change out your colors. You can do whatever you want. It's yours. Okay, but this one again, Confetti City. I think the only color blocking that I did was right here. That was it. The rest of it was all confetti, but it came out beautiful. Maybe tomorrow I'll put some duct tape on it. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Cotart. And if you want to find them, you can find them on Amazon. Or go to cotart.com. They have some really beautiful canvases. I just love the way it turned out. Now that it's done. At first I didn't like it. 
I kept saying, Cotard, you suck, you suck, you suck. Because the lady kept asking me questions. I think it was just a miscommunication because she's probably in another country. And when I said I ran out of drills, the drills came too late. And I had already finished it. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, I love this one. I don't know the name of it. But you can see it's like the sun and the moon all together. So very colorful. And again, mother and child. As you can see, Cotard does some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pictures. Beautiful pictures. I love her eyebrows and the way she just sparkles. Oh, she sparkles so beautifully. Don't you agree? So, ladies and gentlemen, I will keep up with the channel. I don't care if I only have four or five subscribers. But if you want to help out, give me a thumbs up and tell your friends to come on by and see me. Because I am also a professional chef. And next year I will be showing you some of those secrets to making your food look better, taste better, and be better. Healthy foods and some that won't be so healthy. Like, uh, let's see, what can I think of right off the top of my head? Maybe a uh, cheesecake in a jar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apple pies. Yeah, the real deal. Made from scratch. And I will show you some that are not made totally from scratch, but you will be able to claim them for yourself. How about we call it semi-homemade? Mm-hmm. I love this one. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to duct tape it up and put it on my walls. Yes. So... Ladies and gentlemen, next year, this is the new itinerary, diamond painting and cooking. So if you are a male or a female out there who does not know how to cook, I will be giving you classes on how to cook. All right? Thank you. Love you all. Please tell your friends to subscribe. And remember, love, peace, and respect. You put it out there, it'll always come back to ya. Peace. Bye. And Happy New Year to everyone.